everyone. I am here with my October favorite. Um, this month, I've been obsessing with more beauty-related products. So let's get started. First, I've been obsessing with this nail polish. It's by a brand that I have never, never heard about. I think I got this from one of my subscription box. I don't know which one. I received this a while back and it's this one let's focus this is what it looks like I have on my nails as well this one is called Cusio or Casio color I will leave everything down below and this is in the color I left my heart in San Francisco beautiful name and beautiful color i have on my nails like i said right here it's a really really nice pale pink color and um what i love about it it's the application is just so smooth it's just a really nice feminine color two coats and it it doesn't even chip i had this for maybe like like a week more than a week and nothing chipped so far I didn't use a top coat but the application it's just so smooth I find in you know, a lot of lighter color nail polish it's more difficult to apply on the nail but this one that just make everything just so easy I love it love it love it and then the color is really nice it's this very feminine pale pink color kind of remind me of the cherry blossom color if I make any sense like a pale pink sakura color I really want to purchase more nail polish from this brand I think it's better than OPI or like SC nail polish love 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 this second favorite is by Hourglass I find whenever I try something from hourglass i will end up loving it or it will become a stable in my makeup routine i'm filming this video in my bathroom and you can tell from the reflection how messy my bathroom is this is the hourglass embryon blush set it got sold out while i was in china so i couldn't get my hands on one. Oh, and i got it right after our sephora website shows they have stock I bought it right after it comes oh my god look at this how beautiful this is oh my god. this is the most beautiful thing in life period uh, it comes in three blush and um, I've been obsessing with this color from the camera it looks really red it's the color called mood exposed but in real life this color it's a perfect fall color very mauvey I just love it and then this one this really dark color my friend told me she used it as a bronzer as well I haven't tried it yet but they said like they've been obsessing with using this as a bronzer I will give it a try I love 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 this blush set I think it's such a good investment it will definitely last me forever and these three blush color are just so universal very uh, versatile as well and the packaging is so luxe i love it i love 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 this i mean right after i received this i just stopped using any other blush this is the only blush i have been using for the month of november my third favorite is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. This is what it looks like. I have to say I love, 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 love this foundation. It is full coverage. It is 12 hour long lasting and it's a very matte finish. It says it's full coverage, yes. But um, for me, on an everyday basis, I just use a tiny amount, just blend it in, and it will have a lighter coverage, if that makes any sense. And I love it. It does last 
for 12 hours that's for sure i've been so busy with work these days and school i usually have the sun in the morning usually by the end of the night i come home my makeup would like slide off or smudged at least but this stay on my face exactly the same as when I left in the morning. It just is absolutely a beautiful foundation and it is matte, no shimmer, and um, there's no scent to it as well. No, no scent, which I don't mind. And it is full coverage. You can actually build it up if you do want to cover some blemishes or something like that. I love it. The Tarte foundation, I think this one in particular, it is a cult favorite. I don't know what took me so long to try it and I love it. I really like it and they have tons of color selections and it comes in the tube. It's very convenient and very small. Um, it's travel friendly as well. Yeah, and one more thing, I do wear this with a primer as well. Let me find it. I, I wear this with my all-time favorite primer, which is a Tarte BB Tinted tr Treatment 12-Hour Primer. This one, I use these together and they work perfectly together. I really, really want to talk about this mascara. I got this while I was in Hong Kong and I've been using it right since the day that I bought it and... Pretty much this is the only mascara I've been using for, um, I would say two months now. This is the Helena Rubistin Mascara. It's a very uh, iconic mascara. If you Google like, top mascara or something, this one always come up. And it's very eye-catching too. If you see it, you won't forget because of the packaging. It's all leopard print and um, of, I never use waterproof mascara because I find it actually damaged my eyelashes. So this is the one that means, look at the wand, beautiful. What can I say? It does what a mascara should do. It gives me a false eyelash kind of look. And it doesn't smudge. I find this is why I love it so much. Because a lot of mascara, I find after 3 or 4 hours, it doesn't curl anymore. Or I will have some smudged mascara under my eyes. This does not smudge at all and it's not even waterproof it holds my lashes and it just stay the same i find some mascaras within the first five minutes you applied it would look flawless but after like three or four hours it's gone i have to reapply it but this one it just stays the same and i don't need to uh reply my mascara whatsoever I love, love, love this mascara so much. The only fashion item that I've been obsessing for the month of October is a bag. I got this bag a while ago. For me, I don't take care of my bags. I, I usually just throw my bag around. I don't want to worry about, oh my god, is it going to get scratched? I don't want those, like, worries. And... If you follow me on Instagram, then you would know I got this probably half a year ago. It's the Mini Givenchy uh, Pandora bag. From In the camera, it looks really, really big, but it's actually the Mini version. Um, I love it. And the, it's in the distressed leather. So I can just actually like fold it, squeeze it, wrinkle it, and I don't need to worry about anything. Uh, it's pretty small, but I don't know why in the camera it seems really big. I love it. The, if you watch my video long enough, then you know I'm obsessed with smaller bags. And this is one of my smaller bag, and it actually holds tons of item and the bag is super light i can do a nice crossbody this color 
It's a gray kind of color with gold hardware. It's perfect for fall. And um, the strap is adjustable as well. Not not by a lot, but still. Um, and you can take off the strap as well, just use it as a clutch, which I have never done it before. But I just love it. It's such a simple fall bag. Um, it has two zippers, but the bottom, um, it doesn't really hold anything except some garbage. And what is this? And a button. I don't know why I have a button in there. And um, the second zipper, if you open, and then you will see my item in here. I don't want to turn this into a what's in my bag video, but I have a cosmetic bag, I have my wallet, I have my keys, I have my coin purse, um, and I have some lipsticks. I mean, this bag, it actually holds a lot of stuff, which I really like. And what I love most about this bag is because of the finish. It's this distressed finish. It looks very vintage. I don't need to worry about, oh my god, did it get dirt on it? Or, oh my god, it got wrinkled. I, which I don't really care because it comes like this. So this is all the stuff that I've been loving for the month of October. I hope you enjoy watching this video. And please follow me on Instagram and like this video. I'll see you next time. Bye!